Good evening, Headmaster, teachers, honoured guests and fellow students. Where do I start? Being at John Collette has been a magnificent experience and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Being at John Collette feels like a big family. It all started when I wasn't really happy at my previous school. My parents started looking for a new school and eventually came across John Collette. And I am so happy that we decided on this school. I first came in 2017. I remember in year four when the year six area and classrooms had just been built and we got a tour of the rooms. I remember Mr. Wilcox saying that this would be our classroom in 2019. That is so far away, I thought. It won't even happen. But little did I know that time would fly and I would be learning in that classroom so soon. Now here we are. We are so close to leaving our primary school selves. I can still remember my trial day. I was so nervous, but so excited to meet these people who could possibly be my new class. It would be so different from my old school. Part of the reason I love John Collette is because how different it is. I've learnt so many unique things like Sanskrit and Shakespeare. John Collette has helped me also improve in things like maths and English. The school has helped me improve so much and has introduced me to things I didn't even know I was good at. I walked into my new fresh classroom expecting whispers about the girl with the horrible fashion sense, but was greeted with warm and friendly smiles from everyone. And I was given a buddy called Gemma, who's now one of my best friends. How can I forget my wonderful teacher, Mrs. Carney? Mrs. Carney can be strict when she needs to, but um, she can also make us dissolve into peals of laughter my ideal teacher. She is always kind and ready to help if you don't understand something. Thank you so much, Mrs. Carney. I came halfway through the year, so I was the only new student. Nevertheless, I made some great and true friends, thanks to John Collette. They have been with me through thick and thin, and are always there to cheer me up when I'm upset. We've had some really funny experiences, but I've had some pretty rough times as well. Sometimes I become anxious and nervous to go to school, because I'm scared that things won't go to plan. But you know what? I learned to bounce back, thanks to my experience at John Collette. Who knows what would have happened if I didn't come here. Enough about me. Being in the leadership team is not just about giving speeches. It's about guiding others and learning from the experience. It's about the small things, not changing the world the second you become a leader. It's about being humble and grateful about what you have. But it's mainly about helping others and learning and leading the way to success. Martin Luther King once said, I came to the conclusion that there is an existential moment in your life when you must decide to speak for yourself. Nobody can speak for you. John Collette has become such a big part of me and who I am. I'm sure it has helped many young and intelligent students become stronger. I have enjoyed many experiences like Shakespeare. I think all the students can agree with me that Shakespeare Week is one of the most exciting and stressful weeks of the year. There are roles from Macbeth to Juliet, and each play is always fabulous. Then there's Science Week, where we can learn all about our world in detail. And who can forget Picnic Day, when my friends make me jump off the wharf? What about National Leaders Day, where Year 6 went to see a group of leaders? It was so great. There was a DJ. Kate Campbell, the swimmer, spoke, and so did many other leaders. It was so much fun, and we learned a lot. Well. Now is the big moment, the moment when we need to say goodbye, the moment when we move into a new world, a new universe called high school. Thank you to all the teachers and friends who have helped us become who we are today. This is where it ends, but also where it starts. I wish the best of luck to our new head girl and leadership team. You will be great and I trust you. Don't give up no matter what the challenges are. Dying is easy, living is harder. But just remember to cherish every single moment because before you know it, it will be over. Thank you, John Collette. I would like to leave you with another quote by Martin Luther King. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep moving forward. Thank you.